What a great event. Yeah, what a great yeah. event. Turning uh, now to weather, what a wet week we have had. Oh, we've had a, uh, yeah. it's been a great week, really, yes. you know, and, and temperatures have been below average, which is great. Well, that's all about to end. Temperatures mm. are going to start warming up over the weekend and especially next week. Matter of fact, I think uh, we could be headed towards heat advisories as we head into next week. That's definitely a possibility. All right, here's what I'm expecting. Next few days, more isolated showers, more like a 10 to 20 percent coverage instead of the coverages we've been seeing lately. Also this weekend, warming up uh, high temperatures, low to mid 90s and next week. I'm expecting heat index values around 102 to 107. So not only is it going to warm up, but also the humidity is going to stay high as well. Temperature outside now, it's 81 degrees. The low this morning, 76. Record low is 60. That'd be nice. Uh, record high was 106. Set back a long time ago, back in 1936. Here's what you can expect for the rest of the evening. Temperatures mainly in the 70s and low temperatures tomorrow morning will be in the mid 70s. We still have a few little isolated showers left over mainly in the hill country. Some of this is probably false return, but we do have just a few little isolated showers left over, maybe right there around Victoria, but the radar doesn't look anything like it did earlier this afternoon. Now that we've lost the heating of the day, just a few little isolated showers out there now. Temperatures at 81, Kerrville 79, Fredericksburg 78, and Victoria already in the upper 70s, around 79 as well. All right, so we've got the flow off of the Gulf of Mexico, and I think the same thing's going to apply as we head into the weekend. Plus, there'll be a disturbance uh, coming into the uh, into the coast of Mexico, and I think on Sunday that may give us maybe a 20% chance of picking up some showers and storms. I think uh, showers are going to be harder to come by with this disturbance as it moves west because the upper level ridge of high pressure is definitely stronger than it was with. Alberta. So we've got this real strong ridge of high pressure and you know what happens around here. Temperatures go up and our rain chances go down. So we'll see a disturbance going into Mexico as we head into Sunday and Monday, but that upper level ridge of high pressure is going to be right on top of it. So with that kind of a pattern, it's really hard for us to see rain and temperatures will be hot. There may actually be another disturbance that comes in, but again, with that with that high here, yeah, it's just really hard for us to see rain. All right, the uh, National Hurricane Center has a 60% chance of development there in the Bay of Campeche. And regardless of development, our rain chances just don't look real good. All right, temperatures in the morning in the mid 70s. Highs tomorrow will be in the low 90s. And then as we head into Sunday, yeah, a little bit better chance of seeing some showers, but not a great chance of seeing rain. That is for sure. Uh, heat index values starting Sunday, they're going to get close to heat advisory criteria. And the aquifer levels, well, the aquifer went up about a foot. Pollen count, mold is 9,000 and heavy. And again, over the weekend, 92 to 94, very slim chances for rain. And then as we head into next week, heat advisories are possible. Highs in the mid-90s and heat index anywhere from 103 to maybe as high as 107. All right, we've got more coming up.